Hello everyone, my name is Biswa Singh and I welcome you all at Uruvela BPSC. Today in this video format, I am going to discuss Indo-Nepal relationship with reference to current issues. Watch this video, this topic is important for the coming BPSC mains exam. So let's watch this video and try to get some good points and utilize those points in your answer writing and make your answer strong. Well, before starting, let's see why is this topic important. <coughs> Nepal is one of India's neighboring countries and shares border with five Indian states including Bihar. The other four states are Sikkim, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Well, the most important thing is that India and Nepal share a unique kind of relationship of friendship and cooperation. How? Then the both countries do not only share a border but also deep-rooted people-to-people -people contacts of kinship, religion and culture. Again, the relationship between the two is not an ordinary one, but one that is bound by roti or beti, that means livelihood and marriage. But recently, there has been seen hostility between the two nations because of some issues which can be seen as the following. So, the very first one, Nepal claims three Indian territories, Lipule, Kalapani and Limpiadhura as its territories. Lipule, Kalapani and Limpiadhura are in Uttar Uttarakhand which Nepal claims as its own territories. Well, the next second issue is that Nepal considers Limpia Dhura region as the origin of Kali River, which demarcates the western border between India and Nepal, whereas India considers the origin of River Kali near Kalapani. Well, we, we are going to see these all issues in detail. Well, the next the next issue is that Nepal is also claiming a part of land in Bihar's East Champaran district as its territory. The very first Lipule, Kalapani and Limpiadhura, those are in Uttarakhand, which Nepal claims its own territories. The second one, Nepal is also claiming a part of land in Bihar's East Champaran district as its territory. Well, the next issue is that a parliamentary panel in Nepal has proposed to amend the country's citizenship act that would require a foreign woman married to a Nepali national to wait seven years for naturalized citizenship. This is the next one that is regarding citizenship act. And the next one is Nepal is building its road rapidly to cut dependence on India. We will see how and why. Well, the next Nepali government is considering to ban Hindi language in its country. So these are the issues that we are going to discuss in this video. So starting with the very first one, why is the border dispute over Kalapani and Kali river exactly? Okay, so let's go into history. There has been seen a dispute between India and Nepal regarding a geographical location Kalapani which is located in the easternmost area of Uttarakhand. The dispute in fact centers around two points. The very first one is that there is a 338 square kilometer strip located at the tri junction between India, Nepal, and China. I'll show you in the next slide in the image the tri junctions between India, Nepal, and China. The next one is the second one is the three areas of interest in this tri junctions that we have already seen or discussed Kalapani, Lipulek, and Limpiadhura. Well, friends, you can see in this image. This is the, the marked one is the disputed area. Okay. Well, you can see uh, the uh, you can you can see the orange colored areas. Okay. From the left, Limpiadhura, Kalapani, and Lipulek. These areas are in Uttarakhand, but Nepal is claiming its Nepal is claiming those areas at as their as its own territory. Okay. What happened is that, let's see under the origin of the dispute, okay, in a war with the British East India Company, Nepal lost some of its territories like Sikkim and present Uttarakhand to the company. A treaty named as Treaty of Sugoli, is naam ko yaad rakhe, Treaty of Sugoli, is treaty ko, a treaty named as Treaty of Sugoli was signed between the company and Nepal in 1816. Well, this treaty demarcated Nepal's borders on the basis of rivers flowing to its west and east. Okay, and that was in this form. So you can see this is this is the, the in this map. 
there is a Kali river in the left and Mechi river in the right or you can see the western the western border between India and Nepal is demarcated by Kali river and this side there is a Mechi river in the eastern side okay so this was done under treaty of Sugoli well what happened next is that when the borders were marked it was decided that on the western side okay that is on the western side Kali river will mark the border while on the eastern side Mechi river will be the border that means west of the Kali river belong to India and the east of river Kali belong to Nepal well a few years after the treaty the maps by the British East India Company showed that origin of the Kali river was near the Limpia Dhura pass on the western side okay initially the British East India Company showed that the origin of the Kali river was near the Limpia Dhura Limpia Dhura that we have seen in the orange colored uh, uh, orange 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 colored areas of Uttarakhand that is to the left to the left side okay that is Limpia Dhura Limpia Dhura pass so British East India Company after a few years showed the origin of the river Kali was near Limpia Dhura but in the next few years the British East India Company shifted the boundary to the east of Kalapani okay so when this happened like with this change in shifting of border the then ruler of Nepal did not oppose and over a period of time this became the border between India and Nepal well this became the this became the real issue okay the issue was actually raised over the origin of Kali river which demarcated the border on the western side and this issue was raised after Nepal and India signed the treaty of Mahakali regarding the Pancheshwar multi-purpose hydro project in 1996 okay so this issue was initially raised in 1997 well Nepal considers the origin of uh, river Kali near Limpia Dhura but India considers near Kalapani so you can you can see in this image Limpia Dhura to the left and Kalapani to the right side okay so Limpia Dhura that is claimed by Nepal as the origin of the river Kali and Kalapani claimed by India as the origin of river Kali so this is the this is this is the this is the matter of dispute okay and these all areas have been claimed by Nepal as its own territory well even an attempt was made to solve the issue in 2000 during Nepalese Prime Minister Girija Prasad Koirala's visit to New Delhi and the then Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee had agreed to a study of Kalapani and Tri Junction to resolve the border dispute okay but it was never initiated and India was not ready to remove troops from this Tri Junction until a proper process was over India has been maintaining troops on on these tri junctions since the 1962 war with China well in 2015 and even before the war of China India used to maintain troops on these tri junctions well in 2015 Nepal again raised objections when India and China came to an agreement to go straight at Lipu Lake Pass without involving Nepal in the agreement okay so this happened in 2015 well so what is the recent standoff on Kalapani so let's watch in November 2019 when India released its new political map following the reorganization of Jammu and Kashmir and terminating the article 35 and 370 then the map of India showed Kalapani as a part of Indian territory well, Nepal opposed and suggested talks to be followed on this dispute. Tension grew on May 8, 2020, when Defense Minister of India Rajnath Singh inaugurated an 80 km long high altitude road from Dhar Chula to Lipulek Pass. And even this road, actually, this road is used as a faster route for Kailas Mansar over Yatra pilgrims. Okay. So when this road was inaugurate, inaugurated tension grew recently okay following this step like consequently nepal government has issued a new nepalese map 
showing the three areas lipule kala pani and limpia dhura sorry i have written limpia dhura that is limpia dhura which are parts of indian territories within nepal's borders okay so this was done on the basis of the older british survey reflecting kali river originating from limpia dhura okay like earlier british survey marked origin of river kali near limpia dhura but later on it was shifted to the east of kala pani okay and nepal issued this map a new map on the basis of this older british survey okay so this new alignment adds 338 square kilometer to nepali territory territory that has never been reflected in a nepali map india rejected nepal's claim to the areas and called this move untenable that is the artificial enlargement of claims not based on historical facts okay so this was the issues on kala pani and kali river well the next we are going to see claim by nepal over a part of land in bihar's east champaran district let's see what happened here exactly so just 4 days after nepal endorsed a new political map for the country incorporating indian territories it is now claiming a part of land in bihar's east champaran district as its territory now nepal is claiming bihar's east champaran a part of a part of land in bihar's east champaran district okay What happened exactly is that Nepalese authorities stopped the officials of Water Resources Department of Bihar government from carrying out fortification of an embankment embankment related work on Lal Bakaiya River in East Champaran district on the border claiming the area as part of its own territory. Well the flood maintenance work was obstructed on the right embankment on of the lal bakaiya river between pillars 346 and 347 that demarcate the india nepal border in guari village in east champaran district of bihar this is the exact location that i have mentioned here between pillars 346 and 347 that area is claimed by nepal as its own territory well the issues has been reported to the ministry of external affairs by the bihar government a follow up will be initiated by the concerned authorities in india as soon as possible because this is a very recent one and uh, nepal is waiting something from india okay let's see what uh, how india respond to this issue okay keep in touch with the news the next we are going to see amendment to the nepal's citizenship act let's see what is this about then a parliamentary panel recently in nepal has proposed to amend the country's country's citizenship act that would require a foreign woman married to a nepali national to wait 7 years for naturalized citizenship okay this move would unnecessarily create inconvenience to the people living in madhes as cross border marriage is prevalent there the area that is madhes and the people the madhesis are inhabitants of tarai region in the south of nepal at the foot hill at the foot hill of the himalayas on the border with india in bihar okay so this is unnecessarily going to create another problem between india and nepal well the next what is the issue on of nepal on border road okay nepal is building its border road near uttarakhand to cut dependence on india let's see how actually nepali government has ordered its army to expedite the construction of 87 km section of road under the mahakali corridor mahakali corridor that is from darachula to tinker okay or it is also known as darachula tinker road project the area is near the india nepal border adjoining pithoragarh district that is in uttarakhand okay this is again the area in uttarakhand well this road will also provide better access to china border which lies beyond tinker tinker is an area that is uh, that is near china border china nepal border so this will obviously if this road is completed this is going to provide a better access to china in nepal the main purpose of the speedy construction of this road is to reduce the dependence of nepali citizens on indian roads that means once the road is built completely it would allow nepali citizens to reach their villages without crossing indian border इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि अभी जो है वो नेपाल के जो लोग हैं वो इंडिया के साइड से होते हुए अपने गांव को की तरफ जाते हैं लेकिन ये रोड जब बन जाएगा 
तो इंडिया पे कोई डिपेंडेंट नहीं रहेगा वो अपने रोड को यूज करेंगे अपने गांव को जाएंगे ओके बट इट वुड ऑल्सो इज पेट्रोलिंग फॉर दी नेपाल आर नेपाल आर्मी ओके okay. अब इससे क्या होगा नेपाल आर्मी की पेट्रोलिंग बढ़ जाएगी आसानी हो जाएगी सुविधा हो जाएगी रोड बन जाएगी ओके okay. अभी जो इंडियंस इंडिया इंडिया साइड से लोग गुजरते थे अब नेपाल के लोग नेपाल में ही नेपाल से ही गुजरेंगे नेपाल के ही अपना नेपाल का अपना रोड होगा नेपाल की तरफ से ही गुजरेंगे बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द इंक्रीज पेट्रोलिंग एंड टेंशन बिटवीन द टू विल क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर पीपल लिविंग ऑन बॉर्डर्स बहुत सारे लोग जो बॉर्डर एरियाज में रहते हैं उन्हें प्रॉब्लम होगी टेंशन होगी अननेसेसरली प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट किए जाएंगे ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स गोइंग टू हैपन बट लेट सी वॉट इंडिया रिस्पॉन्ड टू दिस इश्यू अगेन ओके कीप इन टच विद द न्यूज टू गेट सम गुड पॉइंट्स वॉट इंडिया वॉट इंडिया रिस्पॉन्डेड ऑन दिस इश्यू वॉट इंडिया इज गोइंग टू रिस्पॉन्ड ऑन दिस इश्यू द वेल द नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बैन ऑन हिंदी लैंग्वेज इन द वेक ऑफ नेपाल्स anti india approach nepal government has initiated an approach to ban hindi language in its country starting with the proposal of banning hindi in nepal parliament nepal ne abhi ek proposal pass kiya hai karne ko soch raha hai plan kar raha hai okay ki nepal parliament mein hindi ka hindi ko ban kiya jaye okay on contrary the proposal to ban hindi in nepal has seen people protesting against the government as a large population in nepal speak hindi just to note that apart from nepali language maithili bhojpuri and hindi are also spoken in bihar so this is going to be a tough time for nepal okay if nepal government decides to ban hindi language in nepal well so regarding these problems what can be the what can be the way forward okay then the tri junction is a strategically important for india in the defense against china and also there is ongoing border dispute with china on ladakh front so india should resolve this issue with nepal as soon as possible following diplomatic talks during monsoon bihar bihar always faces a number of floods in its north region due to the presence of many giant rivers okay so india must talk to nepal not to oppose any fortification work on the lal bakaiya river as the floods create havoc in the region and keep several lives and properties at risk okay well the next the ban on hindi and the amendments to citizenship acts are nepal's internal matter but the intention has been directed towards anti india approach this is because a number of indians are also married to nepali citizens and their rise a fear of domination of indians in nepal so these are the things that india has to deal with however any aggression is not good for india and nepal the unique relationship shared between the two will witness drawbacks in many spheres just for a mere political benefits the nations must not bring the unique relationship at stake so well many uh, many thinkers or many politicians see all these activities in nepal for the political benefits of uh, of a few political leaders in nepal so well i am not going to discuss those points i am i have just discussed here what are the problems between india and nepal so well friends these are the informations that uh, i have that i have presented in this video i hope you like this video and if this is the case like this video share it share this video and subscribe my channel Thank you very much see you next video bye bye